Welcome back to the Celtic Republic in the road to 56. Bertan is still holding. The Germans have basically given up trying to push us out. And the English are occasionally making probing attacks in. Elsewhere, they've, England has started making a uh, push into Tunisia. And they're, hold, and they're holding in Egypt with some American and Oh wait, actually, there's almost no English troops here. Egyptian, American, South African. One division from the British Raj, one from England. Also, I noticed that um, Malta and Cyprus are independent nations now. I'm not sure if that's just something with the mod setup or what. But Cyprus has decided to just sit out of everything. Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. They want to stay neutral? with me. I am currently trying to research marines to try and get a naval landing here in Casablanca, though may, that may not actually happen because there's actually a landing going on here, but also I'm going to go ahead with try and go ahead with it anyway. I also want to try and take back the Shetlands. Yes, that was a really bad decision on my part. So I've started designing a basic Flame tank for the for the marines. It's I'm going with medium because they're kind. They offer just a bit more armor and stuff. I'm not sure how much difference it actually makes. Go with that because I'm probably going to be be converting them from stockpile because we have a load of captured medium tanks that we just don't use. I don't care about Borneo, it's on the other side of the world, I can't. So, do I go with... Planning staff. But the extra population wouldn't be a bad... Turbo population wouldn't be a bad idea. Because then I can get into special forces. And then, Highlander Spirit. That's something that the mod adds for this tree. I mean, there's nothing... It's probably nothing quite as scary as a very angry Scotsman charging you with a you with a six foot long claymore. Excellent. The Rice Commissary of Norwegian has capitulated. And Sweden is basically well, this part of Sweden at least is held by the common turn. There's a smaller one down here that's neutral. That means Germans are not gonna have a very good time here. They're pretty much going to be cut, be cut off from supply. That suits me just. They're losing a lot of, of convoys to uh, submarine raiders, so I've started building a few more destroyers. But again, it's going to take ages. Yeah, it's starting to look like England has actually got North Africa and it's in the bag here. Maybe I can help give my hand with some. Uh, Why? Why is it so expensive? Other one. Where did you go? The main reason I'm building up these ones is to try and get the supplies through Scotland and England a little quicker. And I just realized there's a massive bottleneck. Let's upgrade because I'm an idiot. Right here. As you can see, if you have a look at the supply network here, Brest, between Brest and Wren is a bottleneck. Yeah, Edinburgh, Newcastle's another bottleneck. Not much I can redo really about that. I just don't have enough factories to build everything. 
But yeah, it's starting to look like we might not be able to get into Fra into North Africa. Oh well, that means less supply issue for us in the long run. We lost four destroyers. Gonna need more of these. Let's put on this into. Dublin. Box. Right. Oh, we'll go on convoy raiding. Gauge at low risk. Maybe medium because you can actually take dish out a bit of damage. Solomon C or Travesty, I can't do anything about that. I'll pull out the North Atlantic Ridge. I the allies go there, I really do not care. It's too far for us to get for us to cover. Yep, the English pretty much have um well, not quite in the bag, but they're getting close. Once they once they take a rat the Goran, their life situation will resolve itself, no problem. Now they do have a railway up here. Push this new one up to the right. And of course, it's because there's a battle going on, it's going to take forever. Well, some boys, who about this? Ooh, that is a big enemy fleet. Hey, okay, stop preparing, guys. Get out and get out there. Looks like our fleet is starting to is start. Brittany fleet is starting to pull back, pull out. Though, oh, we lost a couple of old destroyers, which I do need to get rid of, for one old, for one cruiser. Not great, but what's I going to do? This is the... So that is basically a defeat because we lost more ships. But they're all old ones that wasn't 1936 destroyed. Yeah, I do have some new ones here to lend some. some. Right. Prepare. Need to get these back up to reasonable decent strength. Save this uh, naval XP for the Marines once I have them. Should be in yeah a couple of weeks. Oh, the Italians are trying to land in France again. Always go down there, and give them a little a wee hand. Just make sure they don't actually get on shore. Oh, tut tut, you, you arseholes. Yeah, this is basically what the Italians kept doing throughout my United Scandinavia playthrough. They just kept trolling us with these, what, these single division landings. Like, seriously, Italy, what the hell are you doing? 
wonder what the Italian equivalent of the troll theme would be, because that's pretty much what they're... Right, it's time to start some is into I think Italy needs a, needs some needs some Scottish spies. Well, I say Scottish, but I really I was like it's just this is all under the Scottish ta country tag. Oh, the Netherlands has revolted. Right, we have Marine Corps now, so Wait, the Marine Corps, and do I want, or I think shore parties might be more generally useful to us. We're not likely to go into the jungle. Then I need to wait for this. Damn, I almost always go with expeditionary units because I don't really use Marine commanders. Like they have the ability to exfiltrate from a coastal province, which might be useful if I wanted to say hit and run on the continent but i don't i want to take i want to actually take to so yeah basically with marines you can either go with take a beat take a beach and open a, a way for the rest of every for the rest of the forces or hit and run warfare it should be worth trying with as a minor nation sometime but you know, can't we do that right now so, Marines. I mean, 10 combat width is probably a bit better. Let's see now. Medium flame tank. Here's. Nothing stopping me going with an armored recon. Port artillery. Field hospital so they don't, don't just bleed out. And do I go with. I'll leave that for now. Make them elite because they are marines. Basically special forces. Do I want to bump up the combat with? Bump me. Let's see, are we building anything yet? Nope, we are not. So I bump these up. Oh, they're coming very quickly. And I okay, so in four days I'm gonna design a, a new plane to replace these uh hurricanes. They're doing they're doing a pretty good job. They're, which may have something to do with the fact that the Germans have probably pushed all their planes out here, maybe some up here, some up here. Might even have some in Africa. However. But that's not really relevant. What is relevant is that as I was gonna say. I'm going to design a small airframe to replace the, this, hur this hurricane. It'll be exactly the same, but it will have rocket rails. They take almost they, they provide close air support capability and take up almost no weight. Upgrades. I'm bumping up our artillery a little bit more. Where do you have a? Ah, yes. So we need less resources, but we'll have a greater bounty there. Out of resources, I can actually go with that. There, this is not far off -ish. Okay, so let's design our new plane. Armor plates. Building plates. We give them some extra ability. So basically, this only adds one weight for four attack when close air support. That's. Whereas this costs four weight for six attack. 
This offers a lot of bang for our buck. I mean, we, it does mean we can't exactly attack play um, ships, but we've got a large enough navy that I'm okay with that. And let's see. Okay, this has heavy machine guns, cannon. So I need to get this right. Where did I put it? It's kind of annoying that I don't have the ability to... Heavy machine guns. Or rocket rep. Engine 3. Armor plates. self sealing fuel tanks. Yeah, we lose a bit of agility from all this because heavy machine guns are add some extra weight. Can I add any electronic? Oh, I can add anti-air radar. Like this all adds almost no weight, and at night, well, only if they're on interception, which probably won't be. I change that to air ground radar later, but. Means this is no luck. This and Captain Typhoon that were obviously shut down or we or recovered, so they're being upgraded first. Now it does mean these guys are not going to be able to um keep going. So I have plenty I think I have plenty of them in stock. Yeah. I have about 250 in, in in reserve, so I think we're okay there for fair parts. This one's okay. At least our railway networks are okay for. Why did I even build that? Because civilian factories take ever. Netherlands has capitulated again. For... Oh, we lost an early submarine. Got it. What else do we have? Some of these old submarines have lasted way longer than they should have. They basically got very good at hitting and running. This hmm. the Finnish Democratic Republic wants an aggression pact. I'm okay with that. Oh, Germany has about 500 to 600 planes. Like, we have 300 just in here, just here alone. So if they brought all these, these out, out here, they could probably take, they could probably own the sky. But we also have anti-air support as well, which is not going to help them. So yeah, they're starting to lose those things. No factories damaged, stone up intel for that. For that. They lost a few trucks, but lost some planes or trains. Service by requirement, so pretty normal. That is a very heavy loss. Buy all the planes and three old Belgian destroyers for one convoy. Oh, we did do a significant amount of damage to the, um, the Blücher and the Deutschland. Of course, they have Tirpitz out there as well. I should get it. a few more subs to replace some of the ones we've lost. I want to queue up another um, Highland class cruiser as well to that makes her end there.
Oh yeah. Well, I should give him some armor to avoid being pierced by. Does make them a lot more expensive though. more so after i've got the special forces and then highlander spirit i'm go with Ooh. i'm not doing these maybe i should we got a lot of factories from trade there or them from our Half of the factories we have for, for for building stuff come from trading with people. <laughs> like that. This what these research bonuses for here. They might be a leftover from the uh free arms against tyranny rework thing. Ah, uh, we lost the mull. Note to self, don't use... Don't use uh, cruisers for, for this sort of thing. Good. Like cruisers wiped out. Alright, which he's under? He's on the heavy squad, isn't he? Oh, he is on the heavy squad. I am blind. Seriously, how did I not notice that? Yeah, Fishy France is good. French North Africa is going to fall to us, as is Italy. Italy in North Africa. So, where am I going to send my Marines once I have them? I guess retaking the Shetlands would be a good proof of concept. Actually, got the design. Huh? If I want to make these guys even, that grill is probably probably a bad name. Maybe I'll call it the uh, Haggis Roaster. <laughs> I know it's not. I know it's silly. So the Breton fleet is sending some fire support onto the onto the naval invasions here. Not sure if that's just a re re revolt that what that happens, or if France actually tried doing something there. I need to give these guys a little bit more. Or anti air capability. Take this. No, they're already good enough. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for now. So basically, we're just sitting here tying up a lot of troops while the action is going on. I've started producing Marines, but it's going to take a while for them to actually be trained, and they won't be trained before. The North Africa pretty much falls to the Allies. So I am going to I'm going to deploy them against Shetland, retake it from the Germans. Then ooh, maybe we'll go take Yan Mayan just for the lols and giggles. Like this is just it's just for so I can troll the Germans a bit. So elsewhere the are pushing into Leningrad and the and Scandinavia is going back and forth. 
Mm, Vichy France is holding on to um, Syria. Iran has fallen to the commentary and I think they. Iran is bogged down in China again. And they're having a bit of back and forth in the Pacific. It's the Indians. South Africa's look now. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.